Hi everyone, welcome to Unity Tutorial this week. I have this half cut crease with really warm tones on the lid and the lip is very curly and very summery but I love how it looks with the eyes and uh, that's why I did it. So let's get started. To prime my eyelids, I'm using a full coverage concealer from Kiko in the shade Natural. I'm doing this with the finger, so I'm doing like tapping motions on the lid. And then I'm setting the whole thing with the setting powder from Laura Mercier. The brush I'm using for this is a small tapered brush from e.l.f. The bronzer is also from Kiko and I think this was a limited edition so I'm really sorry for this guys but I have it, I love it and I'm gonna use it. This time as a transition color all over the crease and then I took the modern renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills on a Ziva brush as well and I intensified the outer corner especially but also going inwards so the whole crease area. To smooth out the edges I used again the 22A from Ziva and the bronzer. Afterwards I proceeded to cut the crease or the half crease I should say. I used here the soft ochre from MAC and a really small and fine brush and on top I put like a like an eyeshadow stick, this one is from Catrice in uh, Mermaid It. On another Ziva brush but smaller, I took the red ochre from the same palette and this eyeshadow I put like a buffer between the lightest shade and the darkest one. So lay down the color first where you want it and then tap 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 the edges um, so that you're not going to end up with any harsh lines. Then I did my eyeliner, I used here the Kat Von D felt tip liner in Trooper and I also did like a medium sized flick with it. I really love this one, my only complaint is that it's not completely matte. To coat my top lashes I used here the Maybelline mascara, um, this is the Total Temptation in black. And then randomly decided to do my eyebrows with the gel brow liner. This one is from Inglet in the shade 19. My favorite face highlighter is an eyeshadow from Ardico in the shade 27. I'm applying this at the moment underneath my eyebrow. Later I'm going to apply it also to my face. The lashes I decided to put on are those ones from Flutter Lashes in Intoxicating. They are really long and fluffy and because of that I also curl them. I think they look better like this. The foundation I use is the Maybelline's Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation in the shade 105. Next concealer under the eyes, the same one from Kiko, uh, in the shade Natural. I applied it here with a brush. Um, this is actually a no-name brush. I ordered it online. Uh, then I set the whole base with the same powder I used previously from Laura Mercier. The brush I used is the Real Techniques powder brush. For underneath the eyes I used the same palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I first took the matte brown, I run it underneath of course and on top of that I went with the red ochre. So the second shade is smoking out the first one, it's going to give that 3D illusion. The brush I'm using is a Ziva pencil brush. So with the second shade I'm going quite low. I love it when I wear really long and fluffy lashes. For the inner rims of my eyes I used a eyeliner gel from Inglet in the shade 77 and then the lower lashes I coated with a mascara from MAC. It's the Extended Play Giga Black uh, Lash Extension in black. To bring the 3D effect back to my face I'm using the bronzer, the same one from Kiko and this brush is again a Ziva brush. As usual I'm applying this to the sides of my face and I'm leaving the center of my face um, to be quite highlighted and I'm also going to contour a bit my nose with the same bronzer. For the contouring I'm using a NYX brush in the number B14. This is just a big fluffy eyeshadow brush.
The blush is also from Kiko. It's from the Lip Me Lots collection in the shade Coral Cardle. And then to highlight my face, I'm using the eyeshadow from Ardeco. As I've told you before, I'm applying this with a fan brush from Ziva. I cannot get enough of this eyeshadow used as an eyeshadow or as a highlighter. I went with a light hand today. I just didn't feel like beaming. The lipstick I chose to go with this eye look is this one from Sephora in Coral Crush. I wasn't very sure at first but I really like how it turned out although this is a very summery color. But sometimes I like to step outside the box so to say at least makeup wise and I'm not sorry for it. Makeup is fun. So guys this was this week's tutorial I really hope you liked it if you did give me a thumbs up that really helps me a lot and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'm going to catch you in my next tutorial bye